Oh, thank can you. Can I call you. you Meet? Yes, you can. Excellent. I, wanted, I was worried about that. Let, uh, let's talk about the name. How, I've heard so many versions of how you got the name Meatloaf. Tell me uh, about which, one. Which, uh, which version would you like well, to hear now? I love the Volkswagen. <laughs> oh, that's my favorite one, too. I like that one. So I'll tell you that story. Uh, actually, these stories are true. They just have nothing to do with how I got my name, but it's okay. I love the story. When I was in high school, we were... Um, I was a, in America, I was a, like a jock, right? I played football and baseball and all this stuff. And so one night about midnight during football season, uh, we were out uh, drinking a few beers, and uh, somebody bet me $100 that I wouldn't let the front wheel of a Volkswagen roll over my head. And so I just put my head down on the thing, the Volkswagen wheel rolled over my head, I got the $100 and had a bad headache. And other than that, that's... Uh, but it has not changed your personality one jot. No, it, yeah. it altered it then, but not since then, no. Yeah. We've got Phil Lineup back with us again. Phil, thanks, yeah. to, uh, thanks for coming back. One thing that unites both of you fellas, that in an age of rouge, mascara, we had and the same skirts, and I'm talking well. about... I'm talking <laughs> about <laughs> we, we have, what we're a united because we have the same mother. We're not brothers, just the same I'm, um, mother. Yeah. What a remarkable genetic <laughs> yeah, fact. Right. We're indebted to you for that. <laughs> but anyway, in an age when it's all rouge, mascara, and maybe slightly small voices, you guys deliver. Why do you think you came to, pr to prominence with basically what a voice that wasn't part of its time why do i think i, I mean in other words do you not feel sometimes that you're a late 60s sound in terms of the way you actually, deliver I, actually i feel i actually i feel more in tune with the 50s uh and i always say i think i was born too late you know that's how i feel a lot of the times yeah. you know it's like because the old the old stuff, it's like when we go on stage, you know, sometimes we like, I put in like an old song each, each tour, a different old song. And those are always the ones that, you know, it's like they, they seem very natural. I mean, mm -hmm. things like uh, the new stuff that we do and some of this stuff, Mad mm -hmm. on the Hell is very natural, but uh, it's a, I have a more empathy with the, the 50s yeah. stuff instead of the 60s. That's it. 60s was a bit psychedelic. And, we, uh, can, we can talk They were always talking about greenhouses and purple fields with red trees above <laughs> marshmallow moons, you know, yeah. and that didn't... I don't, I don't, no, they don't fit with me, and I don't understand that. <laughs> Listen, this, this record, Bad Out of Hell, we mentioned, this was a phenomenon. We can talk forever about your voice, but why don't we hear it? Let's go one better. Oh. Your latest record is Modern Girl, and it really is a belter. Ah. Let's have a look at that. And Wonderful once again, song. the old bikes are in front of Oh, yeah, oh, they? yeah, the bikes. Great. Ted, oh. don't cut oh, now, don't but cut now. we had to. Oh, that's too bad. Well, we'll cut it there, because we'll show it again some other oh, day. Oh, good. The whole thing. But that, that, as I say, was a real belter, but do you mind me saying that was a message song, isn't it? That must be the Femme Lib anthem there, isn't it? Well, it sort of is. It's, I, you know, um, um, a girl named Sarah Durkee actually wrote the lyrics, so probably that's what she had in mind. But when I, when I, I don't think of it, I just think of it as a, a, um, a total lib song. Because, I mean, to me, it's like, it's sort of, this is a weird representation, but who says that you have to wear white when you play tennis? I mean, that's the kind right. of, that's my sure. attitude, you know? And it is, I mean... And the video, uh, I really like it because it's the, we use, like, real girls. I mean, you know, uh, as opposed to, not, not to put down models or anything, but I think models have been overplayed in videos. In other words, you know, yeah. uh, women are being used in videos, you know, with the lingerie. Ah! <laughs> so, well, Funny you should mention yeah, that. Yeah, lingerie. You know, I, well, I'm going to get off that. But anyway, you know, and with no point. I mean, just laying on a bed, turning around, and, and, and I just found that, uh, you know, a bit awkward. And... Brian Grant, who directed this, is is fabulous, a well-known uh, video director, and and uh, I just let him go on this one. And it's like the shot that you just had there. I went to this little this uh, this girl, little girl. I'm going to say she was little, but she's not a young girl. But she's a a real motorcycle racer, and she's like a real human being, a real person. Right. And uh, people objected to me going to her in, in the video and put my arm around her. I said, absolutely not. That's a real person I'm putting my arm around. And that uh, made, made me feel good about that. We've got another great deliverer here, Phil Liner. And there's one thing that unites you two guys. You both nearly lost something. You nearly lost your hearing, did you not, Phil? Yeah, nearly. That's the few things in return, <laughs> you know. But, <laughs> but tell, tell us about it. I mean, quite seriously. Well, there was a time at, once, when at one stage, um, uh, we, we were doing about 50 dates on the trot. And, we were, we were playing in America, and in America the, the venues are much bigger, so you use a lot more amp amplification. Yeah. And I made the mistake of standing in front of the league guitar player's <laughs> amplifier for a little too long. <laughs> and you didn't hear a word. So uh, that night I heard ringing in my ears, so yeah. I, uh, I, I thought it was serious, so I got a doctor around, and of course, doctors, they're very conscientious and they always play safe and they went if i were you 
I wouldn't do that again, uh, which I, I'd learned the lesson by then. Well, to lose your hearing is uh, pretty crucial, isn't it? But to, to lose your voice, which you did. Well, I, I did that by standing in front of my own monitors for too long, <laughs> I think, you know? Uh, yeah, no, I, I didn't, uh, well, I, did I didn't lose my, I didn't, I didn't. And I think what happened was, after, after bad, I mean, I, I've, been, I've been in rock and roll bands and, and theater and different things since 1966, so, uh, but I never dealt with something that became a multi-million dollar business. Mm -hmm. And it was sort of a, an awakening for me, you know. Um, I mean, I have a, the foundation and all that, and it wasn't like overnight, but it was a, a real awakening to see, I sort of, my thing is now to see the snakes in the grass and they were poisonous. And it was sort of, I didn't like that. I mean, I liked it. I wanted to make records and tour, and I never thought of anything else other than just doing that. And, uh, and when it was over, I sort of rebelled. Yeah. And the only way for me to rebel so that I didn't have to do anything, I think, was just say, I can't sing. And so I convinced myself I couldn't. And, uh, and, and I just sort of like dropped out, you know, it's like a, a, right. a, a rock and roll dropout. And there's, and <laughs> there's certain singers as well who have very delicate voices, who, who if they do a lot of uh, sort of engagements, their voice will go and they, they need a long while yeah. for it to recover. And some people, if they push it too hard, if they keep, it can do permanent damage. Yeah, but uh, I mean, Meatloaf has a voice <coughs> like my own it, that uh, the harshness is half the, the uh, well, the texture sort of. <laughs> of it well, is when you get on the road. It is the texture. Well, great before it. Meat. I think you've lost weight. In fact, you look like a slice of salami. Do you like good cliches? <laughs> because after the break, oh, we're going after to the break, rusty. you're going to be in Rusty's kitchen. I know kitchen. all about Rusty. I heard all about That'll Rusty. That'll solve I'm your weight dying problem. To go see Rusty. <laughs> rusty! <laughs> <laughs> Who needs advertising? Let's take a break. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning to you, and welcome into Next the we're kitchen. Next, we fried chicken, right after this meatloaf. Why yeah, not? Yeah, all right, yeah. <laughs> Do you like cooking? Do I? I like eating. <laughs> oh well, we've got the perfect dish for you today, uh, and I think you're going to like this. It looks a, a bit of a lot. Uh, look, just look at all this on here. It oh, looks yeah, a lot. Oh yeah, you got onions, mushrooms, yes. raisins, rice, yes. celery, yeah. Apple, Apples, the Scott and Brown, brown sugar, yeah, little flour, yes. Uh, uh, what is that? A pork. I know that's pork. pork. Well, and you got it. Oh, just mushrooms. Yeah, just that's, that's it. Just, yeah, but I think stuff. before we start, being as it's such a chaotic one, you better have a little drop of this rosé. Do you like wine? First thing in Honestly, the I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> You're horrid. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I won't make this recipe. No, no, today. you, no, I, no, I, 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 here, let's put it in the bowl. There you go, I'll help you put it in the bowl. All right, right there you go, Actually, we put it right in the old bowl. Here's cheers, cheers. looking at you, Rusty, okay. Good morning, folks. Good yeah, morning. Here we go. Okay, then, I'll start. I'm always getting in trouble in this kitchen. Oh, that's, no, you're not in trouble, you're not in trouble. <laughs> and on if I get up and start attacking you, then you're in trouble. Here All right. <laughs> six, I'm going to do six for the recipe, but I'm showing you with two. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go into the recipe because this is a lovely recipe which you can get done like this today. Put it in the oven and forget about it until you're ready for a while. And then it's really? Yeah. Does okay. the oven turn itself off? <laughs> <laughs> you tell me. If I was to put it in the oven and forget about it, the house would burn down. <laughs> <clears throat> now then, what you do is you marinate this in uh, wine and you put some flour on it. I'll give you the recipe after. This is going to do that like this. And you put brown sugar as well. Mm. Oh, like oh, it's lovely. I hope you've got a sweet talk. Yeah, and absolutely. <laughs> and Do two, you, Rusty? Yeah. <laughs> and two teaspoons oh, yeah. two teaspoon of mustard. Now, you mix all that in together, and mm. what you normally do is you leave it overnight like that. So you mix it all in. I think it's better if I get my fingers in it like that. Oh, go for it. It's yeah. the only way to do it, you know? <laughs> Trying to do it with a spoon, no, no way, man. They're real, Mixing around You're there. a real cook now. You're going with your fingers. That's it. So you do it, you do it that's like it. that. That's it. Mess it up good. Go for it. <laughs> and that's oh, it looks <laughs> wonderful. Are you kidding me? Everybody in, everybody in Britain wants to eat that now. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. <laughs> Then you fry it like that. Okay. It's after you fry it, it turns out. <laughs> let's show them what it really turns out looking like, Rusty, because you got some sitting here and it looks great. Yeah. Do we get to eat that now? Can no, we no, no, it's it? not cooked. It's oh, it's not, not cooked. cooked. Well, let's not eat it then. <laughs> and you, it looks better now then. Okay. And then you brown it up like that, right? 
Ah. And all that love, all the lovely stuffing that I told you about before yeah. is here. Now what do we do? And the, the lovely thing is there's a pound of boiled rice there. Yep. There's about four ounces of currants. Come on, I'm going to work you. You're not going to not Oh, no problem. Come here, on. not with a spoon. Come Give on. me my hands. Here, what are you going to cut? Ah. Here, <laughs> here, we don't want a spoon. You want to pour and these in. Onions. A little, That's lovely. little bit Wonderful. of stuff like this. Here we go. We're going to pour this lovely. one in, too. Here we go. All lovely. right, man. Who wants a spoon, apple. man? I know what I'm That's doing here. Great. Are you kidding me? Come on. <laughs> Well, if you, you can do, do that, that with that stuff, I can certainly do that with this. That's fantastic. You do that. And then well, it's what getting you all do? over the counter. Oh, that's great. But basically, Whoops. you saute the onion first. It's not necessary. And then you put the filling. Being as your hands in oh, it already, you might here we as go. well yeah, go for just it. Just do it like this. Yes, I got lovely, this down here. Let's lovely. get a little apple in there. There you lovely. go. Lovely. You put that on and top. And then you put them together like that, look, all along. And say if you had the six. Can you see this camera? Look. If you had the six, you put them all along like that. Bar Meatloaf's hand to do this, of course. That's right. And then you... I'll you, rip my hand out. <laughs> we'll sell it. That's right. And you pin them together with a skewer. You need about four skewers for that. You pin it all together and put the rice and the filling between it. You then pour half a pint of rosé over it. I'm not going to pour that over it. <laughs> no, it's, it's good. Just, yeah. You pour, <laughs> you pour the half a pint over it. This is a wonderful recipe. You've got the idea, though. Half a pint of wine all along it, and you wrap it You serve it after you came back from the bar, no. right? <laughs> <laughs> you wrap it up in um, silver foil right, paper, right. and that would then go in the oven. Now, I have one in the oven. Aluminium. Aluminium. There you go. <laughs> here we go. Look, there's one here, which is, I hope it hasn't burnt up because I've been waiting for you. This is... Look at, that. Look, at that. look at that. Look at it. How about that? Absolutely gorgeous. I would like it to have some. Would well, you? let's go for it. Okay, let's go and have some. Shoot the words. <laughs> you kidding? <laughs> look. I didn't get up early for nothing, you know. Exactly, exactly. I clean this off because yeah, I don't want it to have a rocky plate. Um, you have a lovely kitchen, Rusty. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Does the water work? It does. Oh, great. It does, actually. And the thing is, you have to creep around the place when you're doing it. Look at that. All right, here have we go. That. Here we go. Well, I can guarantee you, if Rusty says it's good, it's good without me even tasting <laughs> Aren't you going to eat it? Oh, I am. I'm just going to get this nut. Can I buy this nut? <laughs> here we go. Let's go for the whole thing, you know? Here we go. <laughs> have no fear. Here we go. There we go. Oh, just dear do me. this and Well, thank you very do much. This and I'll come back and see later on. And I'm through talking Meatloaf now. Meatloaf will enjoy this. I'm through talking because oh, I'm eating. let's have the recipe because mm. I love the phones ringing. Mm, be in trouble. <laughs> back to you over there. Woo! <laughs> All right, bring my plate. Hey, bring your plate. Bring your plate. Oh, yeah. You got to go for it. <laughs> kidding? We That's should add, we sh we, where are we? We should, oh, we, brilliant. We should add very Can quickly, with the world that we live in, how do you stay happy? How do you stay sane? I don't. <laughs> do I? Do I? I don't. Th uh, how do I stay happy? I'll tell you What's what. What's your I, safety valve, in other words? I tell you what I do. I when I when I don't have anything to do, I don't do anything. That's my safety <laughs> valve. I don't do a thing. I don't talk. I just sit in a chair, stare at a wall, and do nothing. I just disappear. I mean, it's right. like I, I just leave. I mean, that's my safety valve. And I sort of people go, "How do you do this?" Because they'll they'll come into a room and I'm sitting there and I just am sitting. They'll be talking to me and I don't hear them. I don't know how to meditate, but I think it's sort of similar to that. Well, we're glad you didn't disappear today. Phil, very <laughs> briefly, what's your well, I safety valve? I sit in front of the television and watch uh, Manchester United. Very similar <laughs> to... Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, we're on television, Phil. You can't do that television. Now, Russell Bishop, I know it won't take you six days to tell us. Tell us very briefly, what's your, what's your release from the insanity and the pressures of life? You wouldn't tour America by going to New York and Los Angeles. You don't tour uh, Europe by going to Paris. So I figured... Let's go out to where the people are, and that's where we're going. I have another form of relaxation now, too. Uh, I'm going to watch uh, the tape every morning to, of her in her underwear, which is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> that would become a national, uh, national tradition. Oh, yeah, the coffee growers are going on strike because she woke too many people up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, I want to know how you're awake. We dragged you from Great Yarmouth. You're, well, you're popping off the words. It's Bradford tonight. Yeah. Well, so I'm awake a... because I didn't go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we're playing Bradford tonight, and then we get a day off, so... And then we're doing some gigs like Portsmouth and Bath. And, and Russell uh, and Jilly, Russell, I, do you not think that now that uh, Meatloaf's album should be part of your course? 
Oh, clearly. In fact, <laughs> meatloaf should be part of the presentation. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> okay, we well, had a great time. Where, Thank, where do I go? I don't... Wednesday. Wait, Wednesday. Wait, I'll be there. Thanks to you, meatloaf. Thanks to you, Phil. Cheers. Thanks, Russell. Thanks very much indeed, Chili. A pleasure. <laughs> and thanks, as ever, to you, Rusty. You're very welcome. Lovely. Rusty, right. right on. <laughs> so look, I've got news for all of you. If you're not awake now, then you're clinically dead. Yeah.